Reedy. I want to talk about the June box. I am going to be super quick. I don't want to be long. So, um, the June box is the Manifest That Shit box. And it is selling like crazy, guys. Um, so, real fast, let's talk about this box. So, in the June box, it does come with this. It's all Gucci and Chanel tee that I have on. You guys see it? Mine is tied up. I am wearing a size medium. The sizes run from small all the way to double XL. And you guys will get this shirt free inside your box. The box also comes with one of these pair of shades. These dope ass shades. Yes. So you guys will get a pair of the shades. I was just, I like them all, so I couldn't decide. So I ordered all three. But you guys will get a pair of these shades. Okay. Super cute, guys. All right, so it's going to come with a pair of shades. You guys are going to get this cute um, tee. It's also going to come with some cute Manifest That Shit socks. All right, and then you guys are going to get the Manifest That Shit box as well, okay? So in the box, it's going to come with my new Manifest That Shit candle. You guys will get my new Good Vibes Only Sage. It's going to come with my new Manifest That Shit bath salts in the spray so you guys will get all of this plus my new manifest that shit um body shimmer oil okay and it looks like this all right this is what it looks like it comes in this bottle super cute guys so if you guys are interested in this box you guys can go to my online shop my tears have healed my heart.com like i said the boxes are selling out guys um and this is a june box once they are sold out they are sold out and I'm also offering Afterpay now. So you guys can check out with Afterpay on my online shop, guys. Alrighty. So let's hop into your what you need to hear right now reading. Alright? Bye, Fire Fam. I'll see you guys in your reading. Capricorn. What's up, Capricorn? It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. And I am here to do your what you need to hear right now reading. I am not going to put a time on it because... I decided not to and because energy is flowing and I feel like whenever you guys listen to this reading um, if you feel guided to this reading or whenever you hear this reading there is a message in it for you all right so um, we are gonna start out with some spirit messages and then we'll hop into the love portion this is going to be for Capricorn Sun Moon Rising also Venus this is for all Capricorns but it may or may not resonate with all of you guys if you are wanting additional messages you guys can always listen to your moon our rising sign all right so let's hop in capricorn the june raffle ends on the 12th if you guys want more information it is pinned in the comments below also in the description box below but you guys know i do the raffles now every month and this month i'm giving away a cash prize um personal readings phone readings lunch on me gift cards um stuff from my online shop etc so Definitely check it out if that's something that you guys are interested in. All right, Capricorn. So let's hop in. Let's see what's going on with y'all. Don't be um, don't be afraid to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if I resonate, show your girl some love. It does help the channel. All right. So I'm ready. Let's hop in. Let's see what you guys are needing to surrender to Capricorn. Let's see, Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to surrender to? What does Capricorn need to surrender to? We have surrender your addictions. All right. So whether you are addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with a healthier alternative. All right. So Capricorn, you guys are needing to surrender to your addictions, whether it's a person, place, thing, food, sex, overthinking, overworking, someone that's low vibrational or just something that is unhealthy for you i feel like you are attached to it or addicted to it or is it time for you to surrender to that addiction okay for some of you guys you don't need it as much as you think you do okay um let's see we have surrender negative thinking so you have control over your thoughts when negative thoughts surface say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations all right so like right, thank you yeah bye don't need that okay so not only are you guys thinking negative, you guys are needing to surrender to some type of addiction. So I feel like right now, Capricorn, you guys has got a lot going on as far as like 
whatever this is. Like, I feel like it's just a lot going on in that situation with that person with this addiction. Okay, and for a lot of you guys, I don't feel like it's like food or anything. I feel like it's a person, sex, or overworking yourself. Because it's you have surrender negative thinking. So it's like I said again, I don't think it's food, but for some of you guys it could. It could be like, um, so it could be stress weight. Maybe you are just dealing with a lot of stress and like just overeating and stuff. So usually I know they said like when some people get stressed, they lose weight, they can't think, they can't do stuff like me. Like when I stress, I tend to like shop, go eat. Like I do opposite. So it's just like for me, it's not good because it's like if I stress, it's like I'll be fucking snacking, munching, drinking, shopping, all type of shit, okay? So, that's why I said I don't feel like it is, like, food or anything. It could be. But I feel like this is, like, a situation that you're involved in that had you thinking negative. That's what I feel. And it's with a person, all right? And I feel like the situation is addictive, you know? Like, it's like, you guys that I'm seeing, like, I feel like there's some type of attachment or it's like, it keeps pulling you back in, I feel like this is something that you know you have to deal with, okay? So, um, let's pull some additional messages for Capricorn. All right, that's way too many. I just wanted one message. So, universe, give me one message for Capricorn. All right. So, we have visualize success. See yourself doing well in this situation and have faith in a positive outcome. So, yeah, so I feel like some of you guys are trying to successfully come out of something that you are addicted to or that has you thinking negative. And I feel like you guys are waiting for a positive and successful outcome, and you're going to get that once you shift your energy to positive. All right, and then we have shield yourself. Protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies by envisioning a cocoon of healing light surrounding you. So, yeah, I feel like you guys need to protect and shield yourself from somebody, some type of harsh or negative energy. Okay, so you guys need to shield and protect yourself and your energy at this time. I feel like you guys are on an energy vampire or somebody is just like sucking up your energy. They're low vibrational. They have you thinking negative. I feel like they have you all out of whack right now, Capricorn. Okay, so let's pull an uh, angel message and then we are going to hop into love. Let's see, messages for Capricorn. Angels, what message do you have for Capricorn? What do they need to hear? right now so we have your calling your life's purpose is like an awakening to put your gifts and talents to good use and enjoy the journey of life so for some of you guys you guys are in the energy of your calling like some of you guys are about to figure out your life's purpose or you guys have already figured it out and now you're headed on a new path in with it when it comes to your life's purpose and whatever it is you do. But some of you guys, like, you're just confused. You don't know what you want to do, how you're going to go about something, and you have a calling, okay? Like, it's like the universe is trying to get your attention. So a lot of you guys are about to step into your life's purpose, okay? So answer, all right? Um, and I feel like you guys have learned so much recently. I feel like you guys are about to meet a teacher or somebody is in your life or about to come into your life that's going to be teaching you guys a lot. I feel like you're going to be the student and I feel like it's going to help you grow and evolve. I don't know why I'm feeling that, okay? So let's look at love, Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to hear right now when it comes to love? What does Capricorn need to hear right now when it comes to love? What does Capricorn need to hear right now when it comes to love? Capricorn and love, what do you guys need to hear right now? We have the six of cups, the knight of cups, seven of cups, reverse. So somebody is missing you, Capricorn. Somebody is missing you. Um, this can also be some type of reconciliation. Mm. But then I also feel like somebody doesn't know if this is the right thing to do or if this is what they really want to do. All right? Even though the seven of cups is in reverse, let's pull some additional messages. We have the higher fonts, Taurus energy. We have Scorpio energy here. We have judgment. And we have paid of swords. So somebody is, you guys are having a talk, Capricorn. We have the two of cups and we have the ace of pentacles or inverse with the ten of pentacles. So some of you guys are thinking about working on a relationship. 
And that's what you guys are thinking about. Somebody is thinking about working things out with you. It could be some type of reconciliation coming in. And somebody's like, okay, should we give it a chance? Um, let me see why the Seven of Cups is in reverse. Why is the Seven of Cups in reverse? Why is the Seven of Cups in reverse for Capricorn? Eight of Wands. So somebody is wanting to talk to you, Capricorn, or there's going to be a talk. Like you're going to be talking to somebody and you guys are kind of thinking about coming back together, working things out. Yeah, see, we have temperance. Somebody wants to talk about a reconciliation or somebody's trying to reconcile with somebody. It could have to do with money issues, you know, like maybe somebody is just feeling like it's best that you guys stay together, you know, for financial reasons. I mean, rent is going up. Um, let's see. So let's see. Why is this Ace of Pentacles in reverse really quick? See, the higher font reverse. So look, there was a committed relationship and you guys did break up. It could have been with a tourist. Yeah, there was a breakup. Okay. Nine of Wands. So something just wasn't working out. So I see this two different ways, Capricorn. Either you guys were going through it with somebody and it just wasn't working out. And it looks like you guys are trying to bring that energy back like towards each other. Like it's like you guys are trying to make it work. You feel like you guys been together for a long time. Let's reconcile. Let's work it out. Um, we've been through a lot. Why give up now? Because the Nine of Wands can be energy of like we've been through so much. So why give up now? Like, I don't want to give up on this. I don't want to give up on us, okay? So somebody doesn't want to give up on you, give up on this relationship. Now, another way I'm seeing this is some of you guys went through a breakup and, or they went through a breakup. Somebody recently went through a breakup and it's like somebody is moving forward with somebody else. And I don't know if it's you, Capricorn, or them, but somebody's just making sure that this is the right thing to do. All right, so let's see. Why is temperance here with the eight of wands? See the moon in reverse. So there's something that needs to be revealed. Are there things that are hidden that are hidden that are about to be revealed? Whether it's on your end or your person's end. This could be a Pisces as well. Let me see. Queen of Swords. So somebody may not really be cut off. Capricorn. I'm not liking this Queen of Swords here. Because we have the King of Swords. And this was somebody that they were not talking to or stop talking to but it's like communication is coming back in so let's see Capricorn let's see why the six of cups here the nine of pentacles the six of pentacles see the emperor in reverse for some of you guys it has to do with money and that's why they might go back to this person and it has to do with money they feel like it's cheaper to be with this person or stay with this person or they don't want to feel as financially obligated to the situation um, if they were like, say if they were to leave. So they feel like if they leave, then this person wants more from them. If they stay, then it's like, it, it'll be better, it'll be cheaper. But let's go on to this Emperor Reverse. See, the King of Pentacles could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. And this is your energy. But you guys can be dealing with an Earth sign. All right? And then we have the Seven of Swords. So it looks like there can be a... Um, an air sign or another earth sign around you guys lying, okay? Um, not the principles. And they're moving slow in this situation because I feel like somebody's really trying to figure out how they're gonna how they're gonna really move in this situation. Like somebody is really trying to figure it out. Like, what should I do? Like, what's my best move? What's like what should I do next? How should I move in this situation? Alright, so let's see, why is the higher fine here? Okay, so communication coming in about a commitment. See, for swords in reverse. Eight of pentacles. See, but then they're trying to start something up with you. So, I don't know. Are they living a double life, Capricorn? Because that's the energy that I'm getting. It's like somebody, they're lying on both sides. They're lying in both situations. And it looks like somebody is trying to start something up with you and build and have something with you. But then they're also like trying to stay in good in this situation. So is somebody living a double life? Like, so with the world card in the reverse, nine of pentacles, five of swords, something really isn't over. Somebody is in a situation acting as if they're single, but they're not. And that's what it is. They're not really single. Because look, we have the nine of pentacles, five of swords. It's there's some bullshit here. There's some lies here. So let's see why the five of swords here. Why is the Five of Swords here? See, Five of Swords. 
and look, we have a three of wands and it's still moving forward with you. It's still going in their favor with you. And then this is being repaired and reconciled. See, queen of wands. Somebody's moving forward with a uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, they're moving forward with, uh, look, see, six of cups. Somebody is reconciling with a fire sign. And the chariot, yeah, that is something that is going to move forward or that is moving forward. And when I said somebody is acting as if they're single, but they're not, see, look, we have the five of wands reverse, two of wands, and the ace of wands. Somebody is telling you, like, it's just you, it's us. I just want it to be us, you know. Um, I've chosen to be with you, and I feel like things are starting to look good in that situation. And there's definitely been some type of new beginning here. Or there will be some type of new beginning, or that's what they're telling you. Like, okay, like, once I get out of this situation, things are going to be good passionate hot excited between us you know we'll be able to really spend time with each other see each other do things but i don't like this other situation i don't like this other situation give me more information on this other situation see the tower reverse they like this is somebody that also is fearing letting go they're fearing the unknown like it's like they're with you but it's like they haven't fully moved out of this other situation five of pentacles in reverse and the four of pentacles a part of them is still holding on to this situation just in case it doesn't work out with you I will say that. So just in case it doesn't work out with you, they're holding on. Okay? So let's pull from my real shit work with it, Capricorn. Let's see. So somebody could uh, be scamming. We got fraud or scamming. Or maybe this is somebody just trying to get over on you, but somebody could be scamming. Okay, or the person you're dealing with. Messages for Capricorn. We have let the past go. Okay, so somebody is trying to let this go, but they feel like maybe they're trying to let go of their past, but they feel like their past is going to like scam on them or, you know, like try to get over on them. We have happy and we have direct deposit. So, yeah, somebody is happy. Somebody's making money, getting money. We got happy. We got deposit. We got let the past go. And I feel like somebody's trying to let go of a toxic relationship. Okay, and I feel like somebody dresses or stays fly, okay, but their house is nasty or dirty or trifling. And again, we got toxic, okay, and somebody needs a DNA test. Somebody is in a situation that is toxic where they need a DNA test. This is as ghetto. And they stay fly, but their house is nasty. So they're walking around with Gucci, Prada, Fendi, Louis, okay, because they're fly, nice car, nice clothes, but their house is nasty and trifling, okay. Um, and they're toxic. This is somebody that's toxic. So not only are, you know, they dressing fresh and shit, they're toxic. Okay? And I feel like it is a toxic relationship. And they need a DNA test in that situation or somebody wants or needs a DNA test. Okay? So this is, looks like it's, this is a lot going on. Okay? And I feel like with the direct deposit, somebody wants somebody's money. That's what I'm feeling. Yep. See, look, direct deposit. Somebody wants somebody's money. And I feel like somebody could also be mad that somebody's happy. Eight of Swords. Yeah, Nine of Swords reverse. Somebody's trying to stop and block somebody's happiness. So it could be that as well. Maybe they're trying to stop and block um, you guys from being happy, you know, Capricorn. Or maybe this is you doing this to somebody. All right, let's pull some additional love messages. All right, let's see, Capricorn. Ask for help. So it says, what is it you really need help with? Be willing to allow yourself the support you need. So some of you guys need help in this situation. Or somebody needs help in this situation. Somebody's been asking for help, needs help, needs guidance. Maybe they need help with this DNA. Maybe they need help with this toxic person. You know, and maybe that's why they're like, you know what? Maybe I should just reconcile and do what they want. You know, it could be that too. You know, Capricorn. So... Like it says, shield and protect your energy. And I fight this person has you thinking negative, and I fight this is the addiction because it's a toxic situation. And when things are usually toxic, you are usually pulled in easily because they know they have, they feel like they have control over you, all right, or control over their relationship or situation. So we have heart to heart conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So I feel like it's time for you guys to have a heart to heart conversation. And somebody is asking for, or needing, or seeking help, or trying to figure out what they should do. What's the best thing to do? Somebody could be going to like, you know, like a lawyer talking to somebody, getting some information like, what do I do? How do I go about this situation? How can I help get out, help myself get out of this? 
you know, I feel like it's just a messy situation, okay? So, that is what I have for you, Capricorn, alrighty? If it resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. Um, if you guys love to book with me, fireintuition.com. That is the only way you guys can book with me. Um, don't forget to check out my online shop, mytearshavehealmyheart.com. And follow your girl on IG as fire underscore intuition. All right. I love you much, Cap. And I will see you guys in the next reading. Stay dope. Bye, loves.